Access is a great tool for working with large amounts of data. Using queries, you can easily combine information from many different tables. But what if you want more than an itemized list? Today, I'm going to teach you two things. One, how to easily summarize sales information from a large access query list. Two, how to find the top salespeople using the summarized list. I'm going to start by working with an existing query. This query is pulling sales order information from four different tables. It also includes a calculated field that multiplies the quantity sold by the unit price of each item ordered and then adds the shipping fee and taxes to create a total. Let's run this query and see what kind of data we have to work with. I have a list of 66 records. I need to know totals. How many employees are selling our products? How many orders have each salesperson sold? What are the total sales for each salesperson? And who are my top salespeople? I can quickly find this information out by creating a summary query. Before I begin, note that the name of this query is called employee orders. This query will be the source of the summary query. Let's close this query and create a new one. First, I'm going to select Query Design from the Create tab on the ribbon. Under the Show table, I'm going to select the Queries tab and then choose the Employee Orders Query. This will be the source of the summary query. Now, if I close the Show table, I can see all the different fields of the Employee Orders Query. All right, I want to see total, so I'm going to choose the totals button on the query design ribbon. This action will add a total row to the query design grid. Now I'm going to choose the fields I need in order to view my employee sales totals. The first field that I need is employee first name, and I'm also going to include the employee last name. I'm only interested in their sales total, so I'm going to select the total field. This was the calculated field in the employee order query. Notice that the total row shows that it's grouping by all three fields. I want to group the information by the salesperson's first and last names, but I need to sum the total field. So I'm going to click in the group by section that appears in the total column and change it from group by to sum. Let's run the query. So when I click on either view or run, it's going to go ahead and show me that there are eight salespeople and what their total sales are. Let's go back to the query design and we'll do some more work. I need to see the top three salespeople. So what I need to do first is select the sort field under the total column and I'm going to sort in descending order. The next thing I want to do is I only want to see the top three salespeople. So now that I'm sorting in descending order, if I go up to the return field, and instead of having it show all records, if I just type in a three, what that's gonna do is based on sorting in descending order, it's gonna show the top three highest sales. Before I run the query though, I'm gonna select the total row, and I'm gonna change the format to currency. That'll make it so it's easier to read the information. Now when I run the query, I'm only going to see the top three salespeople and what their total sales are. 